Hi everyone, Wendy and Les here. It is December the 4th of 2023 and we are showing you our first major snowfall of the upcoming winter season since it's technically still fall. Uh, this isn't that unusual for St. John or the Maritimes to get a December snowfall. Hopefully it'll uh, turn into something just like a one-time event a little bit later. But uh, if you were a newcomer thinking of moving to pretty much anywhere in Canada, you're going to have to learn to embrace the winter. This is a real Canadian winter that we get. And uh, if you're moving here from other parts of Canada, you probably already know that. But if you're coming here or thinking of coming here from the West Coast, where we moved from, a bit of a new experience. Uh, this is now our sixth winter here. And uh, one thing that I've learned to embrace is not so much the snow itself, because I still don't really like the snow, uh, but usually it's followed up by several days of beautiful sunshine, which in the West Coast you rarely see in the wintertime. Absolutely. I love all the sunshine that we get out here. And I love, this is our first snowfall, so it uh, has a little, the novelty will wear off, I'm sure, but look at all the snow on the maples along here. Uh, this is our neighborhood of Fundy Heights. And uh, this is what I love of a fresh snowfall. Everything is so white and pure. Um, so it's absolutely lovely outside. So being December, it's also now the third anniversary of our YouTube channel. It is. And uh, Time flies, hey? <laughs> it sure does. Now the first year that we were uh, doing videos was we published most of our videos during that time. We've slowed down since then because there's really only so many things you can show in a region like St. John. Uh, but um, after three years, we have more than 200 videos posted to our channel. So we've had a little debate amongst ourselves. Uh, Wendy thinks we should be making more regular videos. Some of our viewers have asked for more regular videos. Somebody just yesterday asked if we were still alive. <laughs> Uh, my feeling is that I guess maybe because I read some of the comments and you get some trolls that think that we're just uh, making videos to self-promote ourselves as realtors, uh, which we are realtors with Royal LePage Atlantic and we have to disclose that. Um, and I just think that it's not worth uh, repeating things if nothing really has changed. So today we're out here because it's the first snowfall of the season. The last video we did was our hurricane that we had uh, in the season. We think those things are worth showing. But why don't you uh, leave a comment down below and tell us, are we, uh, should we make more videos? Should we repeat some of the things we've already done? Or have you seen it and you just want to see something when it's new? Oh, I have a question for you. If uh, our new viewers are seeing our newer videos and they want to search something on our channel, how do they do that? You just go into the YouTube search bar and search We Love St. John and any topic that you're thinking of. So if you have a neighborhood in mind, search it and we probably will have a video. If there's some kind of you want to uh, learn about summer or winter or any of the other seasons or uh, the industry here, or the tourism, or the Fundy Key Project, healthcare. Healthcare is a big one. We've done a few videos on that one. Healthcare is huge, and uh, jobs, all that stuff. We've done videos on almost everything that we can think of. So, just so you have to put in, we love St. John, and then the topic that you're looking for. In the YouTube search bar, yes. Perfect. Good. So, uh, again, we're going back. It's a winter day. What else does somebody do on a snowy day is they go to Costco. So we sure do. Any excuse. <laughs> we're going old school. We're just taking you along for a drive as we head to Costco. We're going to check out the condition of the roads, uh, see what everything looks like with a fresh coat of snow. Although it's kind of turning to rain right now, so uh, it's not going to look that pretty for very long. And I uh, have heard from people that our winters have become wetter over the decades as climate change uh, makes its presence known. Uh, it used to be powdery snow, but I had to shovel the driveway this afternoon and it did not feel very powdery to me. <laughs> so I did want to mention again also, um, you know, we see statistics on YouTube. We know we have almost 5,000 subscribers. We know how many views videos get. But we don't know the stories behind every one of those uh, views and subscribers. And just this past weekend, uh, there was a winter festival uh, called Uptown Sparkles here in St. John. And speaking of Wendy's question before about search, we did videos about that uh, festival a couple of years ago. So search, we love St. John, Uptown Sparkles, and you'll find those videos. 
Uh, so we were at the one this, this past weekend and we didn't video it because we've got videos already of the past one. Uh, but we were uh, meeting some friends in King Square, which is right in the, uh, the heart of uh, Uptown. And we were waiting for them, listening by the bandstand to a lady who was singing some Christmas songs. And there was sort of a bonfire. Yeah, fire pits going and kids roasting marshmallows. Really nice. Yeah. But we were sitting waiting and we were approached by someone uh, who recognized us from our channel and who uh, uh, thanked us for the positive impact that we've had on St. John. And turned out he introduced himself and he was a city councillor. Uh, I believe his name was Mr. Hickey. Yes. And, yeah, he was lovely. Uh, yeah. And tall. Oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we were sitting, so That's anyone true. would look tall. But uh, yeah, anyway, very nice gentleman uh, and very nice. Uh, obviously, as a city councillor, he's very busy, but to take the time out to come and uh, speak with us, we were very touched. And so we finished speaking with him and we sat right back down and then we were approached by somebody else. And I don't quite remember his name. And I probably couldn't do it justice if I did, but he was a subscriber who had just moved here a month ago from Morocco. And he moved here because of our videos. He was accepted as a permanent resident in Canada. He did his research and he told us that he selected St. John solely based on our videos. I'm just going to pan over to uh, Uptown right now. Uh, it's always so beautiful when there's fresh snow all over the buildings and stuff. and. Uh, it's so festive down there right now with lots of Christmas decorations. So um, it's great to go visit at night. It's all lit up. It's beautiful. Sorry. <laughs> so this gentleman from Morocco in North Africa, he told us, which was kind of humorous to me, because he told us that uh, while he was in Morocco before arriving here, uh, that him and his mother used to watch our videos and he said uh, he wished that they were longer He said he would watch every second of them if they were 20 or 30 minutes He'd wish that they were an hour and uh, which goes very much against what my brother tells us <laughs> My very own flesh and blood who says our videos are far too long and boring as heck so uh, Anyway, thank you, gentleman from Morocco. And he also informed us, because we asked him, that he had uh, already got a job. Yeah. And he's starting that uh, next month. Now, from there, we went inside the city market, which is a, probably one of the most beautiful places in all of Uptown. One of the oldest active uh, markets in all of Canada. And we met a recent client who just moved in three, four months ago. Yes and uh, they were absolutely loving St. John. They've met so many people. Um, and so they were telling us about how happy that they were, that we had helped them. And it was just rewarding. And it kind of motivated me because I'm, you know, like I say, I'm not big on repeating videos, but uh, it motivated us to get out here. Luckily the snow came, gave us a reason to get out on the roads and do a little video with you, but we're just showing you a little bit as we head from far west of town to the far east of town, show you how compact it is here on our way to Costco. Yeah, so it was uh, it was lovely running into all sorts of people on Friday at Sparkles. Um, it's so lovely here because it's a, what's the new logo for St. John? Oh yes, uh, small city, big heart. Yes, and I couldn't agree more. So um, whenever there is a event of some sort, it seems like everybody comes out to support it, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, we've been to events where we come from in the Vancouver area and stuff, and, and you know, they're not always supported and stuff, but here it seems like everybody just comes out, supports all local events, and uh, gets involved in the community. And um, so it really does feel like it is a small city with a big heart. Yeah, it's not the most imaginative name uh, that's ever existed, but it's better than St. Awesome, which they used to say. And although <laughs> that, That's true, too. They're, they're very true. They're just, you know, they, they lack a little bit of originality. But anyway, we're all for it. Uh, I'm kind of thinking that 2023 has been the year of St. John. Like, the, there's thousands and thousands of people moving into the city. We've had uh, massive port expansion for our container ports. We've had... 
the uh, construction now underway on our $300 million Fundy Key project in the heart of Uptown. Our cruise port was uh, named a top three finalist for cruise port of the year in the world. Uh, it's, there's new construction going on. There's jobs everywhere for people. I uh, don't believe the old research that you see or the old people that say that there's no jobs here. There's jobs coming out the yin yang. In fact, uh, one of our clients who is now a very good friend of ours, uh, his girlfriend finally came to join him in St. John, realizing it is the place to be. And she was a little concerned about finding a job because she'd heard all the rumors that, oh, it's hard to find a job in St. John. So she applied for all kinds of jobs and she got all kinds of job offers like she has more job offers than she knows what to do yeah. with so. so welcome to st john fleur yeah so <laughs> uh there you know the person we met in the city market as just mentioning she was uh, recruited to come to st john because of the need for uh, people to have careers here so new brunswick has the oldest average population in canada people are retiring and uh, we lack the young people to to come and fill those holes or in those gaps in the employment uh, market so we need people that's why uh, the province and the whole maritimes encouraging immigration uh, st john is becoming far more diverse culturally far more diverse economically uh, they're like the, the city is booming and that's not a word that's usually used with any of the cities in the maritimes the whole maritimes are booming especially in the bigger population basis. But uh, St. John is just like thriving right now. And I, is the mo momentum going to continue? We don't know, but we assume so. I think the genie's out of the bottle here. And I just think <laughs> that, uh, you know, the the real estate sales have are a determining factor where the rest of the country is pretty much uh, stalled in anything to do with real estate due to high interest rates and that sort of thing. Uh, the demand here is still very, very strong. There's still people wanting to move here. And, you know, the secret's out. When we came in 2018, people didn't understand why we were moving to St. John. Uh, and then uh, now it seems like so many people want to move to St. John. We just uh, we're slightly ahead of the curve and we're grateful for that. And we've been enjoying every minute of our life here. Like when, uh, when people ask us if we're still alive and why we're not making videos, usually the reason is because we're enjoying our St. John life. Yes, it's been uh, it's been fantastic lately. We've been able to get out um, to a few social events, and uh, we have a lot of friends in our neighborhood, so we've been visiting with them. And um, it's uh, we've built a little community here, which is it just it's so rewarding in every way we have a good circle of friends and uh it didn't take long to to kind of connect with people and um i mean if you're moving to a new city it's always going to be a bit daunting and it's going to be hard to meet people at first but people here are so friendly and so welcoming um and there's so many people doing the same thing that uh there's there's always going to be a circle somewhere where you can kind of fit right into so yeah, you know, when we talk about friendliness here, it's it's friendliness. If you meet somebody, they're going to be friendly to you. It doesn't mean they're going to invite you to be their best friend. Uh, everybody has their own circles. Our suggestion is to get involved if you're moving here. Join some kind of community club, your, your kids' schools if you have kids. Get involved. We got involved in curling which we never thought in a million years no. we would do. We've met <laughs> so, so many people. And, so fun. <laughs> uh, and yeah, just get involved and you'll find people that you have things in common with. Uh, we uh, met a, another client uh, this past week whose son uh, has decided to live in St. John. He's young, he could live anywhere he wants. He absolutely loves St. John, wants to build his life here, immediately got a really good job and is now looking to uh, to get a, a piece of property for himself. So we just love the fact that it's not just for retirees or empty nesters. This is a place where you can still afford the Canadian dream of home ownership. You can, uh, you can live the life you want. The outdoor activities are amazing. The arts and culture scene is amazing. The, the history, the water everywhere is amazing. Like, so the fact that it's one of the most affordable cities in Canada is just the bonus. It's the lifestyle here and, and uh, just, everything just feels better to us than what we experienced before and you know you're just seeing this drive out here in the snow and it's looking a little mucky on the sidewalks but the roads are all clear 
Uh, we've always talked about that. The, you know, they're prepared for snow here, so we never worry about snowstorms. Uh, it's beautiful out in the hills, but it's wet snow today. So we're coming, getting close to our Costco destination. This is a big, uh, we're on the east side. This is the major shopping area. We've done videos of that as well, like do a search of uh, We Love St. John and east side shopping or just shopping in general. And you find lots of information about this east side where most of the major shopping and the major chain restaurants are all uh, in compressed into one area. So you can do one stop shopping and uh, we have everything you need here. We sure do. And a lot of things you never, uh, you never imagined you could possibly afford, but you can have it all here. Absolutely. Well, we're almost to our destination here. There's Costco, Costco straight ahead. So now we shop. <laughs> Anyways, we just wanted to bring you along on the ride and uh, explain and give a couple more reasons why we love St. John. 